Indictments, which are basically formal charges that we got copies of today, reveal that Todd Kolhep is now charged with criminal sexual conduct. You will remember that victim Kayla Brown recently went on national television and said that Kolhep sexually assaulted her. Well, this indictment that we got today seems to back that up. And according to these court documents, Kolhep also told investigators that he, quote, had sex with her on multiple occasions. These documents are also giving us more insight into the case involving victims victims Johnny and Megan Coxey, who disappeared in 2015. According to the documents, Colehep brought the couple to his property in Woodruff in December of 2015 to provide cleaning work for houses he had for sale. According to the documents, Colehep claimed that he shot Johnny because Johnny pulled a gun and tried to rob him. The documents indicate that Colehep told investigators that he restrained Megan with handcuffs and leg irons and then shot Johnny again. According to the documents, Cole Hep held Megan against her will for six days by chaining her to the rear wall of a shipping container. According to the documents, Cole Hep took her out of that shipping container on or about Christmas Day in 2015 and shot her in the back of the head because she, quote, upset him. You'll remember Cole Hep is also charged with four murders connected to the Superbike Motorsports case. In these documents, it is said by investigators that Cole have had specific details about the Superbike Motorsports case that only the killer would know. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4, live tonight in Spartanburg County.